I'm just going to use myself as the first example of a regular income because it's the most immediate here. I have what you call a salary. A salary. Does anyone know what a salary is? How would you define it? Just in a nice, brief, succinct sentence. Millie, what do you think? Uh, I think that's perfect. In fact, it's so perfect, let's all write that down together. And there's two key things there. Number one, that it's fixed. It's a fixed amount of money. And it's, generally speaking, per year. Even if you only work, say my, my brother, for instance, he's an IT contractor, he might get a contract that's only six months long, but he gets quoted a salary, which is an annual salary, right? Fixed amount per year, perfect. You might work more, you might work less, but because it's fixed, it doesn't matter, you receive the same salary, okay? There is a kind of regular income that does change though, based on how much you work. What do we call that? Wages. Wages, very good. Okay. Now wages still somewhat fall under this category of regular income, because generally speaking, um, you might be working, okay, we've got you as a part-time worker at this job. You don't just like blow in and blow out. You're there for a number of months. But you work more hours, you earn more income. So rather than fixed amount per year, how would you articulate, how would you express that? Because it's not the same. Any takings? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So usually we would say this is a fixed amount by hour, not by year, right? So you often hear about an hourly rate. This is how much I earn per hour. And then the more hours you clock up, the more you get paid. Okay? Now, on this idea of wages, I want us to branch off a little bit. Okay? Because if you earn wages, there are things you can do which attract special amounts of money. So the first thing is, for example, well, overtime. Okay, so. Overtime. Now think about what this means, okay? The idea of overtime is we expect you to work roughly some number of hours per week, maybe 30 hours, that's a part-time job, okay? But they might say, actually, this week we need you to stay back a bit later. We need you to work on clothes. My, again, my brother used to work at Pizza Hut. He'd do the 1 a.m. closing shift, okay? So people aren't in there ordering pizza, he's just cleaning up, okay? So that's an extra amount of time and it attracts more money. Okay. What other ways, if you're in a wage job, could you attract more money? Think about when you work. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so I'm not going to give a number on this yet. We'll come to it in a second. But you can have double pay, um, what we call double time. You can also have time and a half. Okay, all of these come under things like, say, weekends. If you work on a Saturday or a Sunday, or public holiday. Okay, now depending on the job you're in, depending on the employer, for each of these, you will get some combination of, for example, suppose you're getting paid $10 an hour, okay? Actually, who's got a part-time job here? Part-time job? Yeah, okay, so um, Ellen, what are you getting paid at the moment per hour? $11.94. Say $11.94? Okay, I'm just going to write this up the top. Who has the same rate? Does anyone have exactly the same rate? All different. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's fine. We'll just stick with this number. It's pretty, it's pretty, who gets paid more than that? Who reckons they get paid more? Harry, what do you get paid? Wow, okay. Oh, what are you? Is this legal? Oh, <laughs> ah, okay, right. I think 1194 is a little more indicative of what most of us are going to earn. Okay. If we were working, you tell Some public holidays, there are different shops that are open and different shops that are closed. Okay, So a classic example would be, say, Boxing Day. Lots of places are actually open on Boxing Day, so they have to employ people on those public holidays. So if we were earning this amount normally, double time, instead of getting this per hour, what would you get? 23.88? I think, obviously, you can check this in your calculator. Okay. We call that double time. So I'm going to write that here. But double time, 23.88, except for Harry, that's a lot of money. So, 
Sometimes employers are not quite willing to pay it that much, so they do an in-between. Instead of this times two, they'll multiply it by 1.5. That's still better than what you're normally getting, but it's not as good as double time. We call that, because it's this and a half, we call it time and a half. Hey Jake, maybe save it. Now, here's the way it works, right? If you have a normal six hour shift, but you're get pay getting paid at double time, it's as if you've worked not six hours, but 12 hours. That's why we call it double time. And if you were getting paid at time and a half, but you worked six hours, you get paid nine as nine if you've worked nine hours. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, excellent.